vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Top Vloggers. As always, I am High and Mighty Joe hanging out with... The lovely cat and... Alan, of course. Uh, it should be another fun and exciting day. We are headed to the holiday... The Heritage Holiday or the Holiday Heritage. I'm not exactly sure which one. It should be a fun and exciting time. I believe I heard that there are cookies and maybe mm. even hot chocolate possibly around and I heard that maybe even the big guy himself may make an appearance so with that being said I'm asking you to come along with us so let's get going Aaron, check out that train. Ooh, guess what? I saw a big train. Yeah, sure do. Oh no, that's kind of cool, my dear. They got these little heat lamps out. I believe this must be the cookie and crafts and looks like here's down here's the hot chocolate. Let me grab a hot chocolate. Fill up on the fill up on the thermos. Oh wow, Aaron. Yeah, it says train on it, doesn't it? And we can give you one of those if you listen to our, our safety briefing. Okay. For the, for the younger generation, when you come up to a street, you look for a sidewalk right to cross the street. You want to stop at that, that sidewalk or that crosswalk, and you want to look both ways. Same thing if you're going to cross a train track. You want to stop at, stop at a safe crossing, which if you would look for a sign like that there, as long as those lights are not flashing, that's going to be a safer place to cross the railroad. But you still need to look both ways. Also, uh, don't play on railroad tracks because trains come, you can't hardly hear them, um, they're, and they're a lot faster than what they used to be. If you look at this here, you'll find out that every, that every three hours somebody is either hit in a car or a pedestrian is hit by a train. What do you know about railroad Now, for the adults, you know about the this, this is um, you our blue sign is on street? every railroad crossing. You doing? Cross the street. If by chance you were to you take your car and Same your car would die on the railroad track, railroad track, what you want to do is, number one thing, get out of your car. If you're gonna cross the Find the number that's on that sign and call it. If Give them this cross crossing number track, that's, on, the, that's on that sign. Lines. What's going to happen is, like is this is going to connect to a dispatcher. So when you gave him this number here, he's going to know where you're at. They're also going to know where the train is at. They'll try to stop that train if they can. If not, they're going to give further instructions, which is going to be get further away from your car. 
All right, we're going to go up here in the Boulder City Depot. Boulder City, 1931. See Aaron over here sitting on this bench right here in front of the railroads of Nevada. <laughs> Look at all this. Look at this cool weight thing right here. Can't beat that. The bathroom over here, the sink area. And then this is some more of the things they have. And here are some of the chests. That they used to put stuff in. Here's some of the dishes, silverware, dining set, glassware. And of course, here's what the conductor and the brakeman, here's what they would have wore right here. This is pretty cool. We'll definitely have to come back here. You know, we can come back here and check this out again and again and again. And never be able to uh, to oversee all of it. So yeah, definitely really really cool. Check out these old chests. Wow. Can you imagine all the different things that these was in there. Is very unique. All right, check out all these dolls. All kinds of dolls. They got all kinds of dolls in here. <laughs> Introduced in 1982, Cabbage Patch Kids became the hottest and hardest to obtain item during the Christmas 1983 shopping season. As you know, my dear, I have one. Uh, I believe mom still has it at her house. I used to have one. But yeah, uh, yeah, what a what an interesting time that, that was for everyone. Checking out all of this. Well, look at these cool albums out here. You have Andy Williams, you have Holiday Sing Along with Mitch, Glenn Campbell. Yeah. Oh, and a beautiful tree. Look at that tree. I love it. And there's the stockings underneath. Oh, there he is, the big fella himself. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, yeah. So this is all part of the Clark County Museum. And like I said, this is something that we will definitely be able to go back and, um, you know, revisit again at another, at another time uh, fully. And uh, we, we will be able to get going. and uh, show you all the different little things here that they have. Now here's a Lionel Rolling Stock 1948 to 66. Here's Lionel Accessories from 55 to 67. More other parts of trains over here. There's a nice caboose right there, check that out. That is so cool. I, I have got to get a train set up for Aaron. Uh, we used to have a 
train set that went around the Christmas tree, but it just, uh, it was just cheap and, you know, what, what, you know, Aaron liked to play with it, so that didn't happen, but there's Jim Neighbors and, of course, the Jackson 5, and it's John Bimba. And then, of course, right here, they have this little layout of the land here. You can see this little area that this little town, I guess you could say, that they got built up. It's, it's really, really cool. And then they got the train that goes around it and everything. And that is really, really something. So, and then, of course, they have, like, I guess you would consider, like, a bigger version over here. And in this bigger version, it also has multiple trains and multiple train tracks. Um, but it is not going at this, at this time. But I'm sure it's beautiful once it's up and going. And there he is, the guy who is in charge of the entire museum right there. Did you see him? All right, well, we are up on the train. And it is dark in here, so you can't see a whole lot. We got this little light, but that's about it. So you can see a little bit of this area. And then, of course, here's where they would keep their clothes and their locker. And, of course, this right here would be their facilities. And this, up that, that right up there would be a bed, and then that would be another bed right there. And then this would be the furnace and a couple of little couch areas. Oh, there's the snowman. You know, these inflatables have uh, taken a life of their own, should I say. I don't know that they're necessarily taking over uh, lights, but they are definitely... Uh, more of them than there used to be. Now this right here is the Beckley House. It's what a house in 1912 uh, Las Vegas would have looked like. So we're going to go ahead and take a stroll through it. And see what it was like. Alright, so we're in. I think the oh, what did your mom This is their furniture. This is what the living room area would have looked like. Their mantle and fireplace. So this is like a, like the lady was saying. This, this is a, the Beckley home, and it was built in 1912. If you can imagine that, this is built in 1912, and it's I would have to say definitely better built than what we live in today. Oh, check it out! All the different cool things that they have in here. You see them right there in 1915. That's Lisa and Will Beckley. They lived in this home. The back porch. This room was originally the back porch. Okay, so that makes more sense. It's like, first thing I was thinking, I was like, why do they just have a room that they don't have anything in? It's like, that wouldn't make sense. But now that it was the back porch, that makes more sense. And of course, this would be the kitchen cabinet. Yes. Incredible. Okay, so it's over here. Right there. See you through there. Right through there. See it? 
And this is kind of a little bit of Las Vegas 1916 to 1919. Apparently you can see Aaron. He's going to do a dance for you. Oh, this is pretty cool. Just kind of leave your place to leave your strollers and stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. You can even go in this little building right back here. There's too dark for us to see. But we're going to continue on. Now you got a snowman out here and these houses, this house is decorated as well for the holidays. You can see that there is something going on up here. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but there is definitely something going on over here. So, figuring out what the, maybe they're just only allowing uh, so many people in at a certain time. Yeah. I think that's what it is. So we're going to continue on moseying. Now this right here is the Giles and Baracus house. And it's from 1924. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. And uh, see if we uh, what's inside. Alright, well we're inside the house. This would be their, I guess, the living room area. For uh, the absolutely very beautiful. Look at all the things in here. This is definitely something that we would love to come back and do during the day. That is for sure, because uh, doing it at night is just not definitely not giving us uh, the proper. A uh, chance to go ahead and show you everything. But yeah, absolutely beautiful inside here. And then, of course, there's a, a singer sewing machine. So yeah, lots of cool things that you can see in here. And then, of course, there's an old piano. Now, right here is the Babcock and Wilcock House, Motor City, 1933. So, yeah, let me check all this stuff out. Oh, wow, yeah. Would you like to read the words? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're right. And then right here is their kitchen area. And they got Hanukkah foods. Looks like she's making. Now this would be their facilities that they would have had. I think the tub is nicer than the one that we have. That's for sure. And of course, this would be their hat and dress closet. Yeah, we lived in the house in New York upstate. We had glass crystal mops like that. Uh, in the uh, Mines Bridge. Beautiful hats. And then right over here, you have another room. This would be like what a bedroom, I guess, would look like. For that time frame and era. 
And of course, here's a flower planter. And of course, they have all kinds of different things in this room. Check that old newspaper out right there. It says Las Vegas, Nevada. It says Gateway to the Great yeah, Boulder yeah, Dam Project. Wow. Dam work starts. Will be Hoover Dam, Wilbur reveals. Wow. That's so cool. As someone who is extremely into history, this is right down my alley. And here we go. Uh, I believe this is going to be the next little thing we're going to do is we're going to look at Mobile America. So let's take a look at this. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right here. So it says Motor Court Cabin, Las Vegas, 1935. So circa 1935. Uh, we're going to show you what the cabin would have looked like. And of course inside, beginning in the 1930s, Las Vegas and the surrounding areas became a tourist destination for the building of the Hoover Dam, easy marriage and divorce, and of course the legalization of gambling uh, definitely contributed to these factors. And as you can see here is kind of what I guess the motel room would look like that you would have been able to rent back then um, if you look at it really it's just as big I guess as probably the one you would rent today so and then of course right here this is old, this old Plymouth right here but this is this is the kind of car that you probably would have been driving if you were uh, in 1935 if you were staying at a place like this you probably wouldn't have been staying in a uh, with an old Plymouth like this. I remember dad telling me that he used to have an old Plymouth like this. Now, <clears throat> now the motel that I showed you was in 1935 and the automobile that I showed you was in 1946. Now the home on wheels that I'm getting ready to show you is from 1948. So just two years after the automobile was created they decided, hey, we can make a motel on the wheels. I'm going to show it to you. Now this would have been their grill area. This would have been kind of what they would have used for uh, for a grill. And they even have uh, uh, the tanky pink flamingo decoration on the outside as well. And now we're getting ready to go inside. And there's not much room, so we're going to be next. Well, this is kind of what everything would have looked like on the inside of one of those of these trailers back then. And like I said, this is 1948. This is a lot bigger than the trailer that we live in, that's for sure. I mean, our trailer is a lot bigger than this. I mean, imagine living in this. Go down, bub. You collect them? Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll go over here. So, so we can get a picture with him. Yeah, I'll you move a little closer, I don't bite. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> nice Pokemon. Anything else? No, just Pokemon. Okay. We'll see what we can do. It should be good though, right? Alright. <laughs> Okay. So this is called the Candlelight Wedding Chapel. And they have packages. 
Service Chapel actually used to live on Las Vegas Boulevard, across from Circuit, where Hacienda used to be, or near where Hacienda used to be. Okay. And uh, it was from 1966 until 2004, they did weddings, and then they closed in 2004. The museum acquired the chapel in 2007, and we moved it to the front end, and then we purchased it. Oh, check that out. So this is this is what this is where all your friends and guests would have sat, and you would have been right up there in the white dress. I would have been up there in the black tux, and the person marrying us would have been right there behind us, and that would have been us right there. Yeah, this is this is something. And they said that they moved this over here in 2007. And then they refurbished it. And then it. they refurbished it. And it looks like they have really done a great job. And of course, right in here, they're showing you more of the wedding styles of the of the day. This is a veil worn by a donor's grandmother for her wedding in 1928. Wow. You can imagine that. It says right here, it says the white wedding dress only came into vogue during the late 1800s. Blue was a more common color early on and in many countries, the more colorful the better. The wedding cake, the wedding flowers. This right here will tell you about all of those things. Wedding traditions. And here's here's where they kept flowers. Take a look at this price list right here. Forty five dollars for the chapel fee. If you had over thirty guests, it was seventy five dollars. Wow. That is something. And a light wedding chapel. Now here are the back of some of the houses and things that we have looked at. Of course you remember I was I took you guys inside that trailer right there. And there's the The car right next to it. And of course the original little hotel. But there's also a big old train over here. And Aaron wanted to look at that on the way out. So I figure if we go ahead and take a look at the train. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see that in the dark, but that is Union Pacific 4442 right there. And boy, that is, that is one big train. That is for sure. You can imagine that. Check that out. And of course, they, you know, you think they'd have to be big to be pulling those big old box cars and things like that. But yeah, they have it all decorated here at the front. So you can check that out right there. Well, thank you so much for coming on this vlog. I hope you guys had a great time. As always, I enjoy bringing them to you. Another fun and exciting time here at the Clark County Museum. And we will definitely be back uh, further. Would you like to go ahead and show everybody what you got for Hanukkah Day 3? That's right. He got... A lot. One of the... Special gems. 
special gems that they had out there so i think that's going to do it for us here today if you're new here don't forget to subscribe you can take it one step further and ring that notification bell It'll keep it up to date on all the future adventures will be going on, on our channel and i think that's going to do it we'll see you next time don't forget to hit this video with the big thumbs up it lets me and youtube know that you care we hope you guys have a great holiday season until then top vloggers out